Let's pretend it's gonna be all okay. Jennifer, what are you doing? When I really question my life choices, I have no answers. Yay! Oh, that was such a great day. Learning and studying osteopathy. Woo! I'm Jennifer. I'm a fourth year student at the Canadian Academy of Osteopathy and I am excited to have you join me for another mod. So welcome. Okay, here we are Sunday evening. Um, I've been assembling my food for the next three days and I uh, need to make a quick run to the grocery store to get a couple fresh things and then we're otherwise ready. We will be early into bed tonight and I say we because that's me, myself and I. <laughs> There's always a lot of packing to do when it comes to being away. So even though I stay at my friend's house here for one or two nights, um, I end up having, or we end up choosing to stay at an Airbnb that's even closer to school because we have such an early start to the day. Um, in particular, during the winter months, because the weather can be so unpredictable and traffic. So we really want to guarantee that we're close by, easy to get in there. So one of my favorite things is yogurt and granola in the morning. And I actually make my own homemade granola. So I do that at home, bring that down. Um, we have to organize snacks. You have breakfast, lunch, and supper. Three meals, three days. You need to plan, organize, have it ready to go. And um, also easy to throw into a bag and take with you like three days worth of food <laughs> when you leave very early in the morning. So it's like a combination of packing clothes and all of these things. So that's just part of the deal. So let's get ready to go to school. morning so I am wearing an uncharacteristic color a black top <laughs> it's the first time I've ever worn uh, anything other than my white tunic <clears throat> today is a table tutoring day and they've asked the table tutors to wear black tops so that's what I'm doing so I can be identified as a tutor and not as a student Here we are, uh, it's Monday night and I just finished myself a nice long day of table tutoring. Now, table tutoring just means that as a year four student, I'm going back and attending a year one, two or three class and helping to oversee, encourage, direct, mentor one of the under year classes. It is an opportunity for me to reinforce the skills and knowledge that I have, but also it's still a learning, very much a learning opportunity. Because I'm not being treated on these days, I don't, I find I can focus and pay attention better and enjoy actually the lectures and I enjoyed the whole experience of the day much better. Remi remembering that this is a 10 hour day starting at 8 a.m. ending at 6 p.m. was breaks and lunch in the middle, but um, it's a very, it's an intensive day. They call them intensives for a reason. So this is a bonus. Love table tutoring. It's early to bed tonight. I, we've got two more busy days. So let's get to sleep early so we can get up early and be refreshed. Get to sleep. All right, good night. Good morning, day two from the Airbnb. I love being at the Airbnb, even though Amelia only lives like 45 minutes away from the school. I know many of you commute in a longer drive than that, but every precious moment of sleep or study time, one must preserve your strength. So that extra 45 minutes of sleep in the morning is welcomed. Well, it's an extra half hour because we still have a bit of travel time you know, 10 minutes instead of 45. 
yummers. Easy breezy homemade granola, again. Yogurt, fresh berries. Mm. such a great day it was a great morning so we were there to start our day at eight but we treat the public from nine till one and uh and then we have you know still some teaching and stuff that we sit through until um two o'clock in discussion about what we just did honestly if you remember back to one of my other videos last month, my first uh, shift in particular at the public clinic was a little bit stressful, a little traumatic. <laughs> Today was much better. Um, you know, the clients weren't quite as acute, but a little more like chronic um, things. So um, I'm not gonna say easier, cause there's still, you know, things you have to think through and problems to solve. However, um, in general, it was just a little more enjoyable, a little less pressure packed. It is now just after 2 o'clock. I think it's about 2.30 actually. And I'm going to go back to the Airbnb. Do a little bit of organizing. A little bit of study work. And then I'll be ready to pick up Emily from her long day. Uh, table tutoring just after 6 o'clock. And we're back here at Melvin tomorrow. When I'm down here at school, I find I'm super focused on what I, the task at hand and I'm like in this bubble, this like world where nothing else exists and it's really nice um, because I can just be like totally full, focused and immersed in my world of study and school and I really enjoy it um, for the most part, but then you know, something comes through like an email or a message or a text that just reminds me that, yeah, I have other responsibilities and I have a family. <laughs> I have a home life I that's five hours away. Um, I have other things that need to be looked at, attended to, considered, um, and I have a business the end of the month I have deadlines things I have to do responsibilities and then I get frustrated because I remember the to-do list that exists in that part of my life as well and balance jumping between them when I'm in each one of them I enjoy and love them but I just find that they're always competing against each other so I'm very very grateful that I have an amazing understanding perfect partner of a husband who can look after things when I'm not at home um, and I miss him greatly when I'm not at home um, and when we're apart it's hard but we make do and we stay connected I just feel bad when I'm not there and then when I'm not there I wish I was down here so that's one of the challenges of being a student of travel I have no answers on to how to fix it that's just a reality to consider if you're going to travel for the program all right Let's now dedicate out of the two hours, 20 minutes to getting through some of the things I have to do in my other life and then maybe an hour and a half with a 10 minute break. Or an hour and a half of studying with a 10 minute walk before we have to go back. Okay. Time to go pick up Emily. She's done her long day. It's almost six o'clock and I'm gonna go grab her from school since I was done at two today. So I've got supper all warmed up, ready to go. You know, I can't overemphasize if you have the ability to um, connect with somebody and stay with them and just get, do life with them. It is a huge blessing, honestly. It really is. Emily girl, if you're watching this, I am so thankful for you. <laughs> Let's keep doing this together. There are days like this when I really question my life choices. It's so dark out. It's just pitch black in the morning right now. And, um, mm. 
such early days. Days of unknown. And a lot of students, myself included, have anxiety. You're doing and learning a lot all the time. I gotta be awake, aware. So that can cause some anxiety. But when I have an early dark morning with snow, then I really, really, really question my life choices. <laughs> Jennifer, what are you doing? But right now, the one thing making it kind of worth all of the sacrifice is even out of a week, and you don't have this all the time, but the successes, patients are doing better, they're improving, their quality of life is improved, it's changing their life, they're able to do things now. Um, it's improving how they feel about themselves and their relationships and their purpose in life can be fulfilled because they're able to or they feel well. And I just love that part about the profession. So I keep focusing on that because that really does make you know, a few years of sacrificing oneself to this process of learning, it seems like a drop in the bucket compared to the lives that we can affect. So that's why I do it. Always so much stuff to pack up <laughs> when leaving the Airbnb. A couple nights, but between all your clothes for three days and the food, lunches, suppers, breakfasts, gotta bring all this stuff. All packed up, ready to go to school. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, it's so windy, but it's hot. It's like plus 20. I don't even need to have a coat on right now. The sun is starting to come up. This is really nice. The one reflection, the public clinic here doesn't have any windows. There's no natural light um, in the clinic space. And I do miss that. Note to self. Make sure you always work in a clinic that has natural light. At least that's for me. <laughs> All right, just finished my second shift here at the public clinic, which we call Melvin. So my week is, although it's only Wednesday, I have just did a lot of hours this week. And it's time to go home. So I'm gonna go back and drop off Emily, and then off we go to head for home. Tomorrow I have to work all day. Friday I have a lot of osteo practice patients coming. I get one day off and then next week we turn around and do this all again. <laughs> all right, it's time to go and had a really great week. This was a win, check. Got my car all packed now. <laughs> Transferred from the van to the car. Wow, it's really windy out, can you tell? Check out how big my curly hair is. Let's see if we can stay awake. Stay awake and drive for five more hours. <laughs> well, the sun is going down. I'm part way home before I lose daylight. I thought I was just say thanks again for watching and I hope you stay strong, dig on, and keep enjoying your journey as an osteopathic student or whatever student you are. And thanks for watching. Take care. <laughs>